What's up, guys? I'm Youngster Scanwar, and I am finally back. Um, you know, I actually, it's been almost two months. It's been more than a month and a half, almost two months, I think. Um, the month, the month of April was very busy for me because I spent pretty much spent the whole month deciding what college to go to. But I decided I'm going to University of Michigan. I am excited, uh, starting off there next September. But that's not important right now. We've got some other news to discover, and then also just May. It's taking a little bit of time to get back in into it but I'm getting getting back into it starting with this we have got some news to talk about um I don't know if you guys have heard of this already you probably have I'm a little bit late to the party some of the news was today but some of it was also a little yesterday and maybe I'm not sure if it was the day before or not I think yesterday some of this news are coming in that's more today this is all rumors um but it's all oh my gosh like what first I'm gonna talk about what the rumor is and uh the credibility behind it and afterwards I'm gonna talk about my opinion so to start, here's what, if you don't know what happened, uh, let me fill you in on what happened. First off, it started with, um, about a month and a half ago, it was actually posted late on March 31st, but since it was posted late, uh, you can see right here, Saturday, March 31st at, uh, 11.36pm, a lot of people saw it on April 1st and assumed it was an April Fool's joke, um, it, but even if you post it late on March 31st, people can still assume it was an April Fool's joke, and of course a lot of people just didn't believe it, it's just a random leak not just a random uh, 4chan post by this guy named real leaks uh, you know just like posted this stuff um, about a leak and it all I'm refer to it just says let's go at the top I don't know if he was being clear that the title was actually supposed to be Pokemon let's go but um, some more stuff we hear later basically the titles of the games are Pokemon let's go Pikachu edition and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Edition. I don't know if the edition is at the end or if I'm just making that up. Or if it's just like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And apparently these are yellow remakes for Switch. And I'm, I'm not trying try not to talk about my opinion yet. I'm going to save my opinion until after we talk about the credibility. Um, with a bunch of other stuff that he said. Uh, two versions, Pikachu and Eevee. Red and blue play a role in the story, but you and your rival are new trainers. Following Pokemon Return, HMs are still replaced with Pokeride from Alola. Online has a hub for players, Pokemon Go integration, catching Pokemon works like in Go, rewards in game and in Go for linking the two together, new accessory can be used with both Go and the games, an announcement soon releasing this year. Um, catching Pokemon, when it says catching Pokemon works like in Go, I was like so worried about that at first, I was like wait what, is it just gonna be like the very dumbed down system in Pokemon Go, but someone actually asks him that question, he's like what does that mean when you say uh, catching Pokemon works like in Go. And he says, you throw the ball, I can go. So I'm guessing that he just means, like, instead of just, like, clicking bag and clicking ball and clicking use, you actually have to, like, touch the screen and, like, do that. Or maybe, I don't know, if you're playing in docked mode, just, like, flick the left stick up. Just like, I, I don't know. But, um, so, uh, naturally, most people take this with not even a grain of salt to some guy saying stuff. Um, but recently, I think this was yesterday, maybe the day before, um, we got this logo that, uh, started popping up on the internet. Which is uh, apparently supposed to be the logo for the Japanese logo, obviously for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Um, I imagine that bottom word is Pikachu because it's got the tail, you know, and the top word is Pokemon. And so, like, and one these two things alone, these can just be like these are just posts anyone can make a logo. So they're not they don't say that much, but a lot of people now have been coming out like people who uh, work in the industry, notably um, Cerebi. Game Explain, Nintendon, um, Emily Rogers. Emily Rogers is wrong a lot, but still, like a lot of people, they're all like, like, yeah, we've heard this is this matches up with what we've heard. That's insane, and now they're all covering it. That, that gives it so much credibility. Cerebi never posts uh, on rumors, and they're posting about uh, Let's Go Pikachu because it's because they they've heard. I, I don't know. Some people I've heard people say Cerebi's like heard things, but they haven't. I don't think they've actually said that this matches up with what we've heard. Like they talked about, like I'm looking at their website right now. I'll bring it to the. Uh, oh, that's not the word. Whatever. Um, they say. Let me see this for a second. Yeah, they just said there's rumors. Like sorry, just comments about the rumors, but they didn't say. Um, like they've heard this, but the thing is, Sarabi never, com, never ever like post about rumors, even when they're probably true and when they have credibility. So the fact that Sarabi posts about this gives it a lot of credibility. In my opinion, it means they probably have heard something similar or have a good idea that it's true. And then, like Game Explain said that they've heard, like there's they, like they've heard things from like their like people close to them, I guess, or people close to Nintendo, that this is true. And so is Nintendo. Uh, th actually, a few weeks ago, 
Nintendon was on a podcast and he was like, uh, and he was like talking about the next Pokemon games. He's like, yeah, I know what the next Pokemon games are. Um, they're not Gen 8, they're remakes, but they're not remakes of Diamond and Pearl. And then someone else on the podcast was like, I would like to play remakes of Red and Blue. And he's like, well, you're not that far off. Like, what? So that's all these people, like, and there's plenty more. Those are just people that I know, but there's plenty of other people in the industry um, that have all been coming out and covering this because they're like, yeah, we've heard, we've heard similar things. We've heard rumblings about this. Um, and then earlier today, um, let me bring this back to uh, the in Actually, sorry, give me a second. Um, poke, here we go. So earlier today, domain names were actually registered for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu.com and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee.com. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, the same company that Nintendo used to file trademarks for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, not trademarks. I don't know why I keep saying trademarks. I mean domain names. Uh, the same company that filed the domain names for Pokemon Sun and Moon.com are probably um, also. They've now just, just today, filed domain names, or registered domain names, I guess you'd say, for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu.com and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee.com. And we're at, I'm at Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu.com right here, and it is just blank. It just brings it to a blank website. Um, and also, or, so yeah, but that, like, that, like, gives us a lot of credibility. Like, they, like, that's an official, like, trademark company that Nintendo uses, and they trademarked it. Or not trademark! Why do I keep saying that? Domain name. Um, I don't know actually if it's if it's uh like a company that Nintendo like owns and uses, or if it's like a company that trade that de that registers domain names for a lot of companies. But either way, like that pretty much makes this legit. Like this is pretty much unless the only thing I can think of is like some other guy, some guy just hired that company to do this just to troll people. If it is a company that um does this for multiple companies, but I don't. First of all, it might just be something that works for Nintendo, but I don't think they would like do that. Um, like I don't even think the company would like do that if like if even if some troll was doing that, but that does not seem like that would likely happen. Um, so that like these are pretty much legit. This is pretty much almost confirmed if they're trademarked. Not trademarked. I don't know why I keep saying that. Sorry. So like I'm like pretty confident these things. Like this is real. Like po the next Pokemon games we're getting are Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which are weird names. But let's go one more thing that gives it credit. Uh, some credence also is this screenshot why is whoops forgot to make this full screen let's do that this screenshot was going around the internet a while ago and uh it was supposed to be the switch pokemon game and people were talking about whether it was real or whether it was fake i was really hoping it wasn't real because it the graphics are pretty much just a 3ds graphics same engine same like it looks like a 3ds game like us like i'm sure it's like hd now so better resolution but like just looking at this like i this looks to me like a screenshot like a of a 3ds game um except it's a wider screen i guess a little bit but um but like a look at if you look at that there's an eevee on the trainer's head and this screenshot like came out before this rumor gained any traction i don't know if it actually came out before uh real leaks or whatever up uploaded this rumor but still like there's an eevee on his head and one of the things that the rumor says is that um pokemon wa like walk behind you now uh like that returns in this in these games and it was a feature in yellow. I think only Pikachu could walk behind you, though. And then in uh, Gold and Silver, like, any Pokemon could walk behind you. Same with Harkle and Soul Silver. Um, but, like, yeah. So, like, it, this is probably it. We're probably looking at Pokemon Let's Go Eevee right now. Because there's an Eevee on his head. And, the Eevee, like, so I guess normally Eevee follows you. But, my brother is making noise. I don't know. Um, normally he follows you, but I guess if you're surfing, he's on your head. Or doing other uh, Poke Ride things. Because it says, another thing he said in the leak. Is that a Poke Ride returns from the world? Although it doesn't. Oh yeah, here it is, right here. I might have missed that when I read it earlier. I don't know. Um, so yeah, like looking at all that stuff, this seems to me almost definitely real. Like this, I, this seems to me like 99%. Like I would bet all of the money that I have that this, that this, this is real. To be honest, people in games media have said that they've heard heard about this, and that includes very credible uh, sources like Cerebi and Game Explain. And th when they, when those two, especially it's, like when those two have heard something. I've pretty much never heard them. I never heard them say, "Yeah, we've heard this rumor is true," and have the rumor not come true. Especially Cerebi. So, and then plus the domain names being filed right after that. It's these games and the screenshot too ties in well. These games seem to me that they're pretty much real. That this is pretty much what's going to happen. So now let's move on and talk about my opinions 
on. So that, that's that's what I, I'm very confident that these are real. That these are the next Pokemon games we're getting. So what? Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's the case. So what, what do I think? Oh, by the way, also Emily Rogers uh, is among someone who said that. I don't know if other people said this too. This she said that um, that they're gonna make this announcement sometime in May. And even this guy said announcement soon, releasing this year. Well, that is pretty vague, but still, um, I do believe actually that it's coming in May because I mean, hopefully Emily Rogers. Maybe I'm just optimistic. But Pokemon usually doesn't announce stuff at E3, so it makes sense for, the, for them to do a Pokemon Direct before E3, either in early June. I would expect, have expected it to be in early June, but actually no, because E3 is pretty early. It's like June 12th this year, so that's pretty early for E3, I think. So yeah, I guess like late May makes sense. Um, so hopefully we'll hear about this soon. It's already May 16th, um, but I, I think I believe that as well, that we're going to hear this is going to be announced sometime in May. Um, but let's, what do I think about this? So honestly... I'm, my opinion is pretty negative on the news that we're getting. Um, not that I'm not excited for these games. Not that I'm not going to love these games. Not going not gonna to play the heck out of these games. Not that I don't want a Kanto remake, even. Here's why I'm disappointed in this news. Uh, in Assuming that's true. So, we basically, they've been, they announced last year E3, we're working on the next core Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch. So, I mean, everyone, I feel like has been assuming that I have definitely, that that's Gen 8. Because every time, every single time Game Freak has gone to a new console, um, it's been a new generation. They had the Game Boy, um, that was when Red and Blue happened, and then Game Boy Color, I mean, wasn't wasn't really a new, the next new handheld, it was just like an iteration of the Game Boy. So the next new one was Game Boy Advance. The first Pokemon games on Game Boy Advance, Gen 3, new generation, new graphical style, big improvement in the graphics. Then you move to the DS, first games on the, that system is Gen 4, Diamond and Pearl, new graphical style, brand new graphics, um, then you move to the 3DS, first, remember the first games on the 3DS, X and Y, how mind-blowing those were, going from, uh, going from, like, 2D sprites in, uh, Gen 5 to the 3D of Gen 6? That was crazy, and it's like, whoa, look, what, what can, I wonder they, what they could do with this new console, boom, that's what they can do. Now, they're moving to the Switch, a home console. That's, they can do so much more with the Switch than they could have with the 3DS. So, I've been so excited to see, man, what's Pokemon going to look like now? What's the next step for Pokemon? Like, I, I was getting ready to have that feeling that we had seeing X and Y for the first time. Except, honestly, probably, like, maybe even more. Uh, because, like, it's a home console now. That's, but, but that's not what seems like it's going to happen. Like, when, when you move to a new console, you want to have... The next generation of games because you want to blow it out you want to be like this is what we can do with this new console we want we're doing a new pokemon game from the ground up for this console and that's what it is but that doesn't seem like what this is what this is assuming that that screen leech screenshot is real this is basically using the 3ds engine 3ds models 3ds everything and just making another 3ds pokemon game except it's going to be on the switch but there it doesn't seem like they're making a new Pokemon game, but for the Switch. They're just making another 3DS game, but they're putting it on the Switch. That seems to me like what's happening, and that's especially true because not even only according to Leak is it just basically look like a 3DS game, but it's also not a new generation. And when 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 they've been saying, when we've been expecting a new generation this whole time, they're like, oh, new new core Pokemon games on Switch, you're expecting to be a new generation because, you know, all the reasons I just said, it's a new console. So that like going from thinking it's gonna be a new generation oh just kidding it's you're not getting a new generation this year you're actually getting I maybe mean, not this year but you're not actually getting a new generation you're getting a remake of an old generation that's disappointing news so not like a remake in itself isn't disappointing but the fact that like we're expected to get a new generation and we get a remake that's very disappointing uh, i think it would i would have loved if they did even if it didn't come out till 2019 or whenever even um if they made um, Gen 8 as the first game on the Switch because when you come to a new console, that's what they should do. And then, so it's a bl blown out, brand new graphical style. Um, looks a lot, it's very improved. Um, like how the game looks and hopefully how the game plays also is improved. And then after they make Gen 8, then they make the, the yellow remix in that Gen 8 style. Um, instead of just making another Gen 6 or, or Gen 7 style game, another 3DS style game on the Switch. Which that that's just so dis so underwhelming and so disappointing. Um, but let's say, hey, maybe that screenshot's not real. Then, maybe they maybe they are d doing a brand new uh, graphical style and making the best use of the Switch. Then I'd still be disappointed, 
because I would want the first game with that brand new style and brand new graphical prowess, I would want that first game to be a new a game of a new generation. Instead, because then we would get these remakes, which are oh, this games are, are beautiful, knock out of the park, and then we get Gen 8, and the Gen 8 would be like kind of underwhelming because we're like, oh, we already are used to this. We always get a new generation and then the remake. Like when you're thinking of one graphical style, like the graphical style of Gen 6, you get XY, then Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. When you're thinking of the new style of Gen 4, you get Diamond Pearl, then Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Because you want you don't want to like like let like you want to use that new stuff on your new game not on a remake and then like have the new game just like kind of trial in after so that would still be something that i wouldn't want to happen so now i don't even know what what i expect is the case is that they're like oh we want to get a pokemon game on switch but we're really revamping the series for gen 8 so we're it's like not we're not it's not gonna be ready till 2020 um cause, but because we really want to revamp pokemon and it's gonna look like a freaking triple a console game but we can't make that so quickly, so we'll fill the time. In 2018, we'll release the yellow remakes, and then in 2019, we'll release Gen 8, or maybe uh, we'll take it a year off, and then 2020, we'll release Gen 8. But, so maybe that's what they're doing, and that's fine. I understand that. Um, it still like, it sucks that you couldn't get your first game on the Switch to be that Gen 8 game, but I would understand that. But then, still, my problem with that would be that they pretty much... they. They didn't technically say it, but they implied that we were getting Gen 8 in 2018, uh, or 2019. They implied that the next game is going to be Gen 8, and that's coming in 2018 or 2019. Um, so then that that's not the next game is still disappointing. Um, but what would be even worse than that is if we get the Yellow Remix, and then later, like a, two, a year or two later, we get Gen 8, and it's also a 3DS-style game, like a game that like could probably be played on the 3DS and looks very similar to the last couple of games that we got. And like, still, you still didn't blow it up. Like, like, whenever Gen 8 does come, I really want that to make the most of the Switch and be a whole new style. Like, we won't even, I wouldn't want us to recognize those games. And, like, I don't want them to even look like Pokemon games until we see the Pokemon. Like, what? This is Pokemon? Oh my gosh! Um, so ho hopefully that still happens. Um, I, but, so now I don't even know. Okay, say that the screenshot is not real. Do I want? Like, say it's definitely happening that Yellow Remix are coming first and then gen 8 like do i want the yellow remakes to blow it out and do like this crazy whole new gen 8 stuff uh and like have a brand new graphical style like for the switch and stuff or would i want them to save it for gen 8 because like on one hand obviously you want the game to have to be the best looking that it can be and it's not just graphics like it's just like like there's more it's more than just graphics like like i don't know i don't really know how to explain it but it's like oh like it's like breath of the wild is not just a better Zelda, like it's not just like a revolutionary Zelda game because of the graphics. It's also just because like it's a new like it's a new Zelda. Like, I, I don't really know how to say that. I don't know. I guess like I think that with a new graphical style, there's also room for other changes slash improvements. If that makes any sense. Um, like imagine if there was. I don't think this will happen anytime soon. Imagine just if there was a Pokemon game that looked like I don't know, like Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, I feel like the gameplay would end up being a little different, or like, just like the world, exploring the world would be different than in Sun and Moon. It wouldn't, like, it wouldn't just be the same type of exploring the world as Sun and Moon with amazing graphics, you know? So I feel like, so that's why, I, I don't know, I kind of lost my thought there, but I think you know what I mean. But anyway, yeah, so like, obviously I want Yell, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee to be the best looking games they can be, but do I want them to take all the steam away from Gen 8? I don't know, I don't think that they will, I don't think that they would do that, that they would, would like, make all these improvements for switch and make this brand new graphics and great brand new engine and then just use that as remakes i don't think that's what they would do so hopefully that they're just getting this like doing this um one last game with the 3s engines and then doing a brand new engine for gen 8 um you know this is just like because we don't want to have three years of gap in between ultra sun and ultra moon and their first switch game they want to have the switch be out for over three years for, until their first switch game um, so yeah, that's all my thoughts on like that sort of thing. But now let's try to not talk about that and let's try to talk about Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu, and Let's Go Eevee themselves. Um, what we n know in quotes, because obviously you know it's a leak, it's a rumor, um, it's a rumor. But what yeah, I'm pretty sure it's true. So like that's like, like what we sort of know about this game and what I think about that. So right off the bat, the remakes of uh, yellow, which is interesting, but like just remakes of Kanto in general is very interesting. Um, we've, it's 
crazy because we already had remakes of Kanto in Gen 3. But that was Gen 3, that was so long ago. We've already had remakes of Gen 3 since then in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So it makes sense uh, to have remakes of Fire and Leaf Green because, like, people are, or sorry, a remix of any Kanto game because people were expecting Diamond and Pearl remakes, but, like, the, con the, the newest Kanto games are still older than Diamond and Pearl. So it does make sense to get Kanto remakes, f like, first in a way. Like, that does make sense. Uh, like, either way would make sense, because, like, it would make sense to have Diamond and Pearl remakes, because we never had those, but Kanto remakes also make sense, because, you know, they're old, they're even older, um, but, like, I'm definitely excited for that, I'm excited for the idea of going back to Kanto, it's just, you know, like, it kind of feels like it's taking the wind out of the sails, when I expect it to be Gen 8, and it turns out to be a remake, uh, but I'm still, like, that still could be really cool going back to Kanto, I really don't love the 3DS style of games, um, like, honestly, I like just, like, the Gen 3, 4, 5 styles better. So, I don't know how, like, it's like, you know, like, I'd rather play Emerald than, like, Omega Ruby, um, if I'm just playing through the game, I feel like, and I don't really, it's hard to know why that is, maybe I just like the style better, I, maybe there's other things also with the games, um, like, I feel like, I don't know why, like, I was playing Black, like, I was playing Black 2 the other day, and just, like, playing through that game is, like, more, like, I feel like it's more of a challenge, like, I feel like the older games, uh, up until before Gen 6 were like more challenging, not just because of the XP share, I just feel like, I don't know, maybe like the computers put more of a fight, they weren't as much of like idiots, I don't know, but anyway, um, and there's two versions, and then remaking of, yeah, sorry, my thoughts are very jumbled, jumbled, I don't know, they're all over the place, I'm sorry, I haven't made a video in almost two months, Coming a little slack, and it's a new, po news of a new Pokemon game, that gets me very excited and very hyped, so I got a lot of thoughts, you guys know me, I love Pokemon, and I don't mean to say that, I'm, I'm not trying to imply that I'm not excited for these games, I am very excited for these games. Just from what I thought, to what it yeah, actually is a little disappointing, but still, brand new Pokemon games is freaking exciting, even if it's not brand new, but still. New remakes, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean! Very, very exciting stuff. Um, and Kanto, I love Kanto, I really do. So, and I've never played Yellow, actually, so that's gonna be pretty interesting as well. Especially the fact that they're yellow remakes, not red and blue remakes. And I don't really think that, for my impression, they're not quite yellow remakes, but they're just more similar to yellow than they are red and blue, because it seems, I feel, I bet they're going to do like, because yellow is still very similar to red and blue, but I, I bet they're going to do more of a newer story in Kanto. Because um, red and blue play a role in the story, but you and your rival are new trainers. So red and blue, I'm going to guess that red and blue already are trainers. So maybe it takes place after the original red and blue. Um, or maybe it takes place, I guess, because, like, the Red and Blue, and then same with Fire and Leaf Green, are kind of in a different universe than, like, Sun and Moon, X and Y, Omega Green, Alpha Sapphire. And Red and Blue are even in Sun and Moon. So I guess this will be that, like, Gen 6 and 7, that's, like, its own universe, kind of. So I guess it will be that universe's, uh, version. Like, that universe's, uh, Kanto story. Because, I guess, technically, Fire and Leaf Green and Red and Blue are not canon to that universe, I guess. Um, but I think, it, I, I do expect it to tell kind of a new story. Because just from what it says, what we know about Red and Blue playing a role in the story, that's already, like, new stuff there, because in, the, in Yellow, you played as Red. Like, technically, it was, like, based off of Ash in the TV show. You still, like, played as Red. Like, it wasn't, Red wasn't a separate character, and Blue was still your rival, you know, if you name him Gary or whatever. So that's going to be interesting. I wonder even if you'll even start in Pallet Town, because um, that's where Red and Blue live. So maybe you'll start somewhere else. Maybe, I've heard this idea, maybe you'll start in Cerulean City, because that'll make it kind of easier for Pikachu to start off. Um, and I wonder, I guess, Eevee, I guess, uh, yeah, so I guess if you choose Eevee versus Eevee is your star no matter what, because Eevee was actually a rival star in Yellow. Um, another interesting thing, I wonder, like, because in Yellow, you couldn't evolve Pikachu until after you beat the game, he refused. Um, in this, in these games, is it going to be the same as that? Also, if, is, like, is Eevee also going to refuse to evolve? Because Eevee, like, a very important part of Eevee is the evolution, so I wonder if, uh, they're gonna, I, th I, bet, I bet they'll just let both of them evolve, but I don't know. Um, I really, like, just predictions-wise, I really think that this game is gonna be more different than Yellow, than Yellow, than any other remake we had. Like, I feel like this is gonna be less of a remake, and more of a reimagining. I really do. I think that there's gonna be a lot of differences, a lot more. Maybe even, I don't, maybe it'll even be more than the original 151 Pokemon, I don't know. Like, are the other evolutions gonna be in the game? Maybe? I, I hope so. I hope it's, you can choose between any of the eight, not just the three. Because that, cause that's kind of feels like waste of potential if you can only choose out of three of eight. Like, I know they're in, in Kanto, but... <coughs> Sorry about that, but yeah. 
Um, and I, like, I wonder if there'll be more. And I think you'll like start in maybe a different place. Maybe I don't know. But I, I think a lot of stuff can be different. A lot more stuff than you expect from a typical remake. It's hard to predict what. But uh, following Pokemon Return, that's really cool. I love that po that you can have your first Pokemon follow you. Hopefully, it's not just Pikachu and Eevee. Hopefully, you can have any Pokemon that's first on your team follow you. Because um, in Sun and Moon, apparently, I learned this yesterday or today. There were actually walking animations for every for like every Pokemon in the game, but they just were never used. So maybe they'll be used now because uh, they never got around to using them in Sun and Moon or whatever, or like that's just in there for to use in the future because they have those models apparently. So um, I think it is going to be any Pokemon, whoever's just first in your party. That's really cool. I really like the feature. It really helps you like bond with Pokemon. It's just a cool thing. Um, and I know that's a fan favorite thing too. So I'm glad that's returning. HMs are still replaced with Pokeride from Alola. So I have mixed feelings on this. I understand why people don't like HMs, and I don't last I really like them either. I kind of do for some reason, but like it is very annoying like when you go into a cave and like, oh, I'm halfway through and I need Rock Smash, gotta go all the way back. And it's really annoying having to have space on your team for an HM slave. But I don't what I don't like about the Poke Ride is like even HMs like <coughs> they like promote the idea that you and your Pokemon are going on this adventure. If there's an obstacle in your way, you and your Pokemon will figure it out. So HMs it's like, man, what can me and my Pokemon do? To get out of this. Oh, Geodude can smash this rock. Sick. Thank you, Geodude. But Pokerize just like call up this random match champ to do this shit for you. What I would rather be is just any of your Pokemon that have that ability can do that, but you don't need to teach them a move. So, like, oh, like match champs can just break rocks. Match champ can just break rocks. So, if you have a match champ, it can break the rocks. If you have Lucario, it can break the rocks. If you have a Geodude, it can break the rocks. You just need a Pokemon on your team that can do that, but you don't need to teach it a move. Um, but Pokerize just like. A pointless thing it is 100% pointless I would like why is it in the game it doesn't add anything um, it's just dumb and annoying and just an annoying thing that you have to do because HMs have annoying elements but it's in the game for a purpose it's because it it's I mean I know Pokerite I guess like prevents you from going where you're not supposed to go yet but it's not a fun purpose um, but HMs help you bond with their Pokemon like they promote the idea that you and your Pokemon are going on an adventure together and you and your Pokemon have to solve this problem but Pokeride, it just eliminates that. So I think that's really dumb. I, I think that it should be a nice middle ground where you don't teach them a move, so that gets rid of all the HM problems, but it's still just one of your Pokemon has the ability to do this. So I think that's what they should do. Unfortunately, it looks like they can bring back Pokeride. Um, I think I would honestly prefer to have HMs um, than Pokeride, but I definitely think there's a middle ground that would be better than both. Online has a hub for players. So this could mean a variety of things. On one hand, I think Pokemon, every single Pokemon game has had a lackluster online experience. I think that they can be a lot better. First of all, like, they don't even allow just six-on-six six random battles. Like, why? Like, they don't even have a, a just battle a random opponent online with the default battle setting. They don't even have that. For some reason, they make it three-on-three three battles, which nobody likes. And it's just annoying and dumb. Why would you want to do a three-on-three three battle? Why is that, like, the main thing when six-on-six six battles is literally what it is the entire game. Like, you have six Pokemon on your team, and all of a sudden, when you get to online, it's only use three now, for some reason. You know, it's not really enough to have, like, an interesting team or, like, anything. So, I don't get that. Um, but maybe they'll finally make the right step. Maybe make them small steps towards better online, like, or better multiplayer, at least. Like, better ways to IV trade and EV trade and stuff like that in the last, like, two generations. But their online's got a lot to go. Um, but, like, so online hub could be a good sign in that direction, but also, like, there was sort of an online hub in Sun and Moon too. Sort of, it was like that weird plaza thing, festival plaza. That was just dumb, it was just dumb. There's a lot of just dumb stuff like that in Pokemon. So hopefully, it, it won't be dumb this time and it will like be a good thing where you can see people in real time and battle them and trade them and do stuff like that. I'd really like them to also add just a way to like make a custom rule set that anyone can play by. So someone can just make the OU rule set and then everyone can like search for a random opponent in an OU battle. Like that'd be really nice. Uh, it's, I don't know why they don't do that. I mean, it's like a disconnect with like Japan and America. I, I don't know, cause I mean, I don't know how competitive battle, how the scene is in Japan. But anyway, that hopefully that's a good sign. But I don't know. Then this, it kind of gets weird. Pokemon Go integration. This sort of leads me back to the thing that's like, maybe they started making this game after Pokemon Go because they realized, oh man, Pokemon Go is so popular. So we should go back to Gen One and try to capture all those fans that got Pokemon that played Pokemon Go. But I, I, I get it. I get that line of thought, but I think it's kind of misplaced. Pokemon Go was a phenomenon for what, maybe three to six months. Pokemon has been a phenomenon for 20 years. So I don't think that chasing a fad is a, 
is good if that's replacing a staple phenomena. Like, Pokemon sells incredibly well every single time. Pokemon is so incredibly beloved. That the fact that you would, like, risk that to want to chase some short short fat. And also, Pokemon Go is free. So, getting a lot of people to play Pokemon Go isn't that mean. You can't just assume, oh, all these people who played Pokemon Go for a couple weeks and walked around their streets with their friends flicking these things are going to all buy a Switch and buy the new Pokemon game. Because they're not. Some people will, but overall... I think that's kind of silly. Like, aim for that. I get it, but don't let that alienate. Sorry, I'm uh, like hiccuping. Don't let that alienate you from your core fan base. So if you're gonna have some Pokemon Go integration, fine. I get that. I think I kind of like took more than what it said. Like I assumed that implied more when I first was thinking about this. I was really worried. Not as worried anymore, especially when I scroll down and read read what he said about catching Pokemon works like in Go. Because when I first read that, I thought that meant you just see a wild Pokemon, just flick a ball at it, you catch it. You don't need to battle it. You don't do all this stuff. And then, like, there's four tabs. Like, out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, what, eleven tabs? Eleven, uh, like, line, bullet points? Like, four of them are about Pokemon Go? That's like, what? Like, I don't care about Pokemon I care about Pokemon. You know? Like, it feels like Pokemon Go, like, just the, how much it was a focus, it feels like it's, like, corrupting core Pokemon, which, like, worries me. But just from these four bullet points, like, obviously, I don't know. I don't really know. It could be a very minor thing that is very easy to ignore. Just like, oh, if you like the two games, you get some extra items or whatever, or, uh, I don't know, um, like, the uh, rewards in-game and in-go for like the two together, and a new accessory can be used with both Go in the game, so like, maybe you can transfer Pokemon from one to the other, I don't know, but hopefully, as long as that doesn't really, hopefully that just doesn't, like, afflict the core game, so it doesn't corrupt anything, as long as, like, the core game is, the core game is still intact, like, if they, ch like, change, like, really change the core games to, like, try to appeal to, like, more casual Pokemon Go fans, like, that would just be that would be horrible. I'd be very sad about that. So I really hope that's not the case. I don't think it is. I think Game Freak's smarter than that. Uh, they've been getting more, I guess, like casual, like or like more, I guess you could say, in the last few games, like where if you look at the moves in Sun and Moon, it says it just tells you what moves are super effective and stuff. Like I really hate stuff like that. Um, and like all the tutorials and stuff, just assume people can't learn how to play. Like everyone I know started playing Pokemon when they were like in elementary school. I started playing Pokemon in elementary school in second grade. I didn't have trouble figuring out Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Like I didn't need all these tutorials that they have now inside of Mood and all this stuff telling me what's super effective. Like I probably would have enjoyed the game less, just like I enjoy the game less now with all that stuff. So I really hope that they. This, this seems to me like they're going even more towards that direction by trying to connect it with Go. But hopefully that's not true. Hopefully I'm just over. Uh, analyzing this hopefully it really isn't that big of a thing just that just four of eleven of the bullets is kind of worries me and when he says catching pokemon like a horse and go like if you add an element that you have to like actually aim the ball at the pokemon that's actually good i actually like think that's a good idea good idea because like you know the trainer like has to aim that right it doesn't just automatically go towards pokemon so that would be like, that's actually i kind of like that idea but i don't really know exactly what that means because it can't just be touchscreen because you know it's a home console game as well unless it's like so I, there has to be another way to do it so I don't know exactly how they do it. Maybe you can just like aim the left stick. Maybe Pokemon's moving around. I, I have no idea. Um, but however it is, uh, I just hope you know if it's just like a part like that, like that after you do the battle, when instead of throwing Pokeball, you do this instead, and like actually have to throw it. That's cool. But if it like is just wild battles or just how wild battles are in Pokemon Go, that would be very bad. Um, I'd be very sad about that. Uh, and then lastly, you know, announcement soon releasing this year. That's a good sign. I did expect the, I did expect the uh, next Pokemon game to release in 2018, um, and this seems to align with that. So hopefully that's true. If you look at like Nintendo's last of investment meeting, they're like these are the list of games we have in the future, and they never had confirmed yet that Pokemon was coming 2018. It was just like E3, they said it's going to be a year or more away. And they were like Smash Bros. 2018, um, Yoshi 2018, Fire Emblem 2018. They said Pokemon. 2018 or later, which is a really weird way to put it. And then it said, uh, what else did it say? It said Bayonetta 3 2019 Metro Prime. Or no, and then it said Metro Prime, I think TBA. Or maybe it said Bayonetta 3 TBA also. I don't remember if it said 2019 TBA. Um, but it was funny that Pokemon, it said, or maybe Metro Prime said 2019 also. I don't remember. It was funny Pokemon that said 2018 or later. Um, and it seems like, I guess, a lot of what we're seeing is like it's coming down. Maybe it'll come out in like December or something. I don't know. Because uh, there was, I forget, what he, it was some, something I read when I was reading about this rumor. Some other part of the rumor was like that one of the guys wasn't sure if it was going to come out this year or not. Because uh, I guess they were like busy working on it and like didn't know if they could finish in time. But this seems to say releasing this year and now it's like soon. I believe that. I do believe that it's releasing this year. I bet Smash is coming in like September with the online service. 
Maybe Pokemon's coming in like December, you know, maybe like uh, or November maybe. And we still got, you know, Yoshi Fire Emblem for like October, November. Um, we still got, and then we still got whatever they announced at E3, who knows. There's other stuff too, probably that I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, that's already a decent amount of games in the later up the year. I mean, it's not a crazy amount, but and there's still E3. Like, it's not even E3 yet, so we can't start making plans by the end of the year. But I really do hope it's now soon. I, do, I really do hope it releases this year, because that'd be really cool. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this topic. I, I, I came across, I think, very negative, because a lot of the information we presented today was negative compared to my previous assumptions. But I want to be clear. I love Pokemon. I, I love Pokemon. And I'm very excited for these games, despite my disappointment in what they're not, if that makes sense. Because, like, obviously, I'd, ra I'd be much more excited for Gen 8. So it kind of seems like a stab in the back. Like, oh, Gen 8? Just kidding. It's a remix. Um, but I am very excited to go back to Kanto. This is going to be actually really cool. Um, I would probably get Eevee version, because, I mean, Pikachu is cool and Ratchet is cool. But, uh, like, I'd rather have Eevee where I can get all these choices of these all these cool Pokemon, you know? Um, also, I wonder, um, someone was saying this, I think it was in, like, the game explain discussion, one of them gave this idea. What if there were, uh, you know how there's Alolan forms of Kanto Pokemon in, in the Yellow region? What if now there's, like, Pokemon have migrated to Kanto, and there's other Pokemon from other regions, but they're, like, the Kanto forms? So they still have some, like, new forms in this game, even though it's technically not any new Pokemon, because it's not a new region, but, like, Kanto form this, Kanto form, like, how, how cool would that be? Kanto form, whatever, like, Kanto form, um... What's it? Like, Pika Pack, Kanto Pika Pack, like stuff like that. So I think that could be that would be a really cool idea. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end it. But yeah, I, I'm very excited for these games. Tell, let me know what you guys think. If you think this is rumors, these rumors are real, and what your opinion is on them, what you want out of these games, and what you're excited about slash disappointed in. Um. But, so yeah, like I, I know I, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but I am very excited for these games. And now, of course, keep it tuned here, youngsters game more. For more on Pokemon, I am a good Pokemon news source usually. I, I like, I remember, like, I don't know, that was a weird way. I don't know why I phrased it that way. What I'm going to say is, I cover Pokemon a lot. I cover Pokemon news. So, next time we get any Pokemon, uh, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, or whatever new game news, uh, you'll be sure to find it here with all my opinions and analysis, whatever you want to call it. Like, for Pokemon Sun and Moon, I did over 50 videos, I think. Uh, over 50 news videos. And uh, so, that was a. Uh, pretty fun so i decided to do that again even though if these aren't these aren't gen 8 so it's not gonna be quite as much of a hype train quite as much stuff to talk about but still gonna be a lot of stuff so stay tuned for more on pokemon let's go eevee let's go pikachu editions um including our reactions to when they actually announce these games which hope if hopefully if these rumors are correct happens uh, in may sometime um hopefully definitely before e3 and stay tuned for other, other videos too sorry i've been gone for the last uh while a month and a half two months but i'm back now um, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.